with us tonight and hope you'll come back often. This motto is certainly a bit of a drag, and that's because it's a drag line. It's the Senebogen 6140E, and the first thing to say is it comes in a massive box. Printed on one edge, there's some details of the real machine, but let's open up the flap and get the model out. As you might expect, it's a bit of a challenge to get the inner trays out of the box, and just make sure you've got plenty of space. One thing we'll check for on a box like this is, is there anything on the underside? And initially the heart sinks because there's a tie used. But we cheer up a little bit because it's not actually a twist tie, it's a type of string. Then we can get a knife out on the tape that seals the trays together. And we can get on and lift that massive lid. And now we see why the box is so large, it's because the model is fully built in the box. So it looks like the thinking here is that Senny Bogan wanted to give this model to their customers and do it in a way which means they don't have to put the models together to display it. Included with the model is a very simple instruction sheet and that pictorially describes the main functionality. After that we need to remove some packaging from the model and generally tidy it up. And as you can see there's no assembly to do because it is Completo Fiori Dalla Scatola. The crawler tracks have got shaped and detailed metal pads and the drive sprocket and track frame have got some detailing. Between the track frames the self-raising jacks are modelled but not functional. And moving to the cab it seems to be plastic and it's got the usual detailing of wipers and mirrors. There are graphics on the outside and a decent interior. There are metal handrails and walkways all round the body and other nice details include panel handles and sharp graphics. Above the body, there's an exhaust pipe. At the back, the separate counterweight blocks are delineated, but in fact, they're just one piece. And they are nicely decorated with graphics. And there are securing chains fitted. The mechanism for self-lifting the counterweight tray is also modelled. And all the pulleys are metal and somewhat packed in. The Senebogen name completes the graphics. On top, there are various textured surfaces. And the winch drums look good enough. The boom has got mesh walkways on it, but they're a bit unusual. They are actually sheets of clear plastic with the mesh applied as graphics. This model is complete out of the box and it's not been designed to be taken apart like the real crane. So there are not joints in the boom where you would normally expect them. And that's a pity because you would expect that joints could have been included in the same places as the real crane for almost no addition to the cost. The same design approach applies to the pendants and they are one continuous piece so the model is not flexible. At the boom top, the large pulleys are brass, and the dragline bucket is a good looking piece with all of its perforations to let out water. There is an issue with the modeling of the chains on the bucket and the ones at the front are too short and we'll see that later. And the other thing to note is that the bucket is huge. The 6140 is rated for a bucket size of 5.4 cubic meters, and this one does seem a lot bigger than that. to have you with us tonight and hope you'll come back often. To begin with, the crawler track frames are extendable, although to an extent the functionality is redundant because you can't split the crane down to be a transport load. Here we can see that the crawler tracks rotate easily enough by hand, but they do have a very shiny surface 
and that means they don't grip well even on rough terrain. One thing the model is very good at is rotation, and it is very smooth, so you can perform realistic duty cycle type fast movements. To get to the winches you need to remove a body panel and a tool is also included for the task, but here we're using good old fingernails. Once the panel is off there are a couple of keys clipped inside. There are three winches that you can access and two keys are provided. So here we are having a go at operating the model and the front winch operates the fair lead. The second winch raises and lowers the bucket and all of the winches in the crane rely on a bit of friction to provide the brake. One issue with the model is that the chains at the front of the bucket are too short, so you can't properly pose the bucket being tipped, and that's a bit disappointing. The third winch enables you to raise and lower the boom, but because the pulleys are not completely free rolling, some manual intervention is required to get the ropes to run right. to have you with us tonight and hope you'll come back often. The first thing to say about this model from Ross is that out of the box it does look good, but it could have been so much better if the model maker had understood how the real machine works, and then the model would have been much more flexible and interesting. But if you want a model that looks nice with some interesting detailing, then this one is good. Wow. 